Hi, I'm Junior Suzuki. I'm a Lego designer and I design Lego Ideas Tron Legacy set. The set consists of two light cycles. There's a blue one for Sam Flynn and an orange one for Winsler. I think originally it was just the one light cycle. It was decided to try and push so that we could have two, so we could have a good guy and a bad guy, and then pushed even more to add Cora, the female character who helps Sam Flynn escape Tron. This product is went through the Lego Ideas review process, so fans submitted the original idea, so now it's becoming a Lego product. The idea for the Tron Legacy came from Brick Bros UK, uh, which had two brothers, uh, Tom and Drew. I thought it was a great model. I thought it looked fantastic. What caught me was the figure. I thought, I'm gonna have a lot of fun making these figures. I like to design spacesuits or impact suits or any kind of armor. So when I saw this and we're gonna do Tron, I thought, brilliant. There's gonna be this sort of armor, there's gonna be these awesome highlights going all through it. I, I, I was just really looking forward to it. There are some special pieces, like the wheel for the light cycle, comes with a print, and also the by the disc with a print, and also there are three minifigures with a whole new print on it. I think one of the cool details on this set is the, the neon lines also in the minifigures and also in the models and that neon lens works really nice with the black. When I saw the fans model, one of the things I noticed is the wheel is not turning. I think it's because of it's connecting from the side. So when kids try to roll it on the ground, it cannot roll. But Lego it should be a toy for kids. So that's, what, that's one of the challenges I need to fix it. What I really enjoyed about creating the minifigures was the layers that I could explore. Because when I was looking at the reference pictures for the costumes, they had three distinct layers. And one would be the glowing lights that went along the armor. The second would be the armor pieces. And then the third is the under armor, which is the fabric outfit that they'd wear underneath. And I managed to incorporate all three of these into the designs, which I'm very proud of. I, I was also a big fan of the original Toron movie. Some many years ago, I made up the Toron Light Cycle set. It's from the first Toron movie from 1980s, and a lot of the designers likes it, so I got pushed to work on this product. So I really enjoyed watching how Junior progressed with the model. So it started off being bulkier than it is in the final version. Well, at first, we made the bike with a really big base, but maybe it, it doesn't need to be that big. Second round, I tried to make a very small base with a kind of curved effect on the back. That one also looks really cool. Also, at the same time, if we try to show it as a display model, it looks a bit weird with that curved effect. So that's why we came up with a kind of very simple base plate with a very straight light effect. I was very impressed by Junior's enthusiasm. Even when we were coming up to deadlines, he came to us and said, oh, I'd really like to put this arcade machine in there as well. There was no time and everything was, was locked, but he just kept, kept going, kept pushing. I used to work as a toy designer when I was in Japan, and I really like to play with toys in general, but Lego is one of my most favorite toys. The first Lego set I had is the Retro Space set with a kind of very small rocket. In Japan, it's very difficult to find Lego, so I only have a few sets. And each time when I go to the toy shop, I always go to the Lego shelf, and now I'm so proud to see my box on the Lego shelf. I think Tron Legacy lends itself really well to Lego because people, people will see it and they'll think, oh, it's Tron, this is amazing. And the world is so big that I think fans could really expand on this. 
and there's so much, so many great elements that people could recreate in LEGO and it's going to be really interesting to see what they come up with.